How's it going? It's Chuck Knees Jr. I kind of want to invite everyone today to my conscience during training. And today we hit legs. My concentration for today is, or was, the stroke. I have to give credit to one of my very first mentors in this whole fitness game. His name is DeAndre Boosie, AKA Bus Fit. And I'm gonna tag his name in the video so you'll see it. Now, finding your stroke is having control through every rep. Doesn't have to be too fast or too slow, but just right, the point to where you have control of the weight, but you're getting the most that you possibly can out of every single rep. And that is finding your stroke, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty funny because there's a ranking system to the stroke game. Uh, you, you got the senior master stroke sergeant all the way down to, all the way down to the private stroke apprentice. That's what we'll call it. <laughs> That's how we'll do. Now on the set here, you can see I'm keeping my chest up, my head up during the rep. Um, I usually hold my arms out on the side of the barbell, which was kind of a bad habit, um, but I kind of got used to it. So I started gripping the back of the bar to kind of keep tension on my lower back. Um, you can see uh, I don't wear belts because it feels awkward. This guy comes out of nowhere and spots me. He thought I needed a spot. Um, I actually didn't. But um, I think he thought I was struggling. I was just slowing my reps down. But, you know, I'm welcome anytime, any kind of motivation, anytime. And I thank him for it. But to finish what I was saying about my belt, I actually wear a sweatband. It's kind of an orthodox method for support, but it helps me because I get just enough tension to keep my abs and core tight. Moving on to the leg press. Um, it might look like I'm locking out my legs. Uh, I'm not. I think I'm stopping right before my legs lock out. Um, as you see, I'm not rushing. I am uh, trying to perfect the stroke. Keeping tension on the quads at all times. Not too fast, not too slow. Now, I do work with uh, my coach, uh, Jesse Martin. He's an IFPA pro. And we have a pretty unique rotation as far as uh, rep ranges every week that works for me. And we kind of put that together over time. Some may ask, I'm always rocking the muscle motivation gear. You can pick that up from Jim Lunatics and I'll uh, post a link. The thermals are sweet to me. It gives you that hardcore uh, blue collar look without having a show off look and it gives you some warmth. Now this last exercise that I'm doing is something that I tried new today. Please excuse the weights not tight on the bar on the left hand side. <laughs> I'm not too sure what happened there. But I've been trying to figure out different ways to work on my inner thighs and uh, my glutes. I'm, I'm always, like I won't go into a show without shredded glutes, period. There may be an official, official name for this, but we'll call these the sumo squats. Um, it basically feels like a sumo deadlift uh, without the uh, lean over pressure on the lower back. Um, you basically work it like a squat. It works in the rack pretty well because you can set your feet against the side without them kind of having a spread out feeling. Um, and these felt great today. I'm actually going to keep these in rotation.